Hi, my name is Stefano Pando from Astro Vega. I have a Telrad, and let me show you how to use it for finding faint deep sky objects in the sky. The Telrad allows you to aim at an object in the sky in order to align it into the center of your eyepiece. Whether it's a star, a comet, a planet, or any other celestial objects, and this is considering that the tail rad is calibrated beforehand. So, in order to calibrate a tail rad, first aim at a star or a very far street lamp in the distance. In the daytime, you could aim at the top of an antenna or on a cross on the tip of a spire. Once you have your object in the center of your eyepiece, then turn the three screws in front of the tail rad to adjust the position of the sight reticle pattern projection on both axes to align the object in the center of the inner circle. The target is illuminated in red for easy night vision and projected onto the little target view window of the tail rad. The little target view window is the portion of the sky that you will see through the tail rad. By putting the object into the center of the eyepiece first and adjust both axes with screws centering the object in the target, then your telescope will be aligned perfectly with it. In other words, you want your object of desire to be in the center of the eyepiece and in the center of the Telrad's target point simultaneously. Although I've always wondered how I was going to be able to aim and see faint deep sky objects, like nebulas, galaxies or star clusters and the like through that little square window of the tail rad without no help to induce light entrance as with magnification or special coating of whatsoever, I would think that the tail rad is not suited for this kind of usage. Instead, I would always go back to my old ways of using a traditional finder scope which I'm able to see all kinds of faint objects through this little magnified scope. But the frustration with the finder scope is something else of the matter. Unfortunately, they are not very shockproof on their stand holders. In the case of when I accidentally bump my nose on the finder scope while I'm observing is unfortunate because it changes the finder scope's position and then I have to recalibrate once again on the spot, losing time and my patience. With a bit of research, I found a way to use a tail rad for aiming at faint deep sky objects even when I cannot see them clearly through the little window of the tail rad. The solution is obtaining the catalog of map and constellation key to Messier objects for tail rad finders for finding the complete 110 Messier's objects. This catalog offers the maps of the constellations with little diagrams of the Telrad's sight reticle pattern projection, same as you would see in the Telrad's little window. They are shown in actual size relatively to the map's dimension in relation with the sky. They are placed in different areas of the constellations to locate the 110 Messier objects. Each target diagram is placed bullseye on the messy object with its surrounding celestial neighbors so that you can match with the reticle circles with the messy objects to be placed right in the center of the target's inner circle. And that's how you use a tail rad for finding faint deep sky objects in the sky. And now, I know I'm going to use the tail rad forever. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to subscribe, like and comment and share these videos to all of your friends that enjoy astronomy. Clear skies to all.